Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. Today's video is part two in a two-part series showing you two new things from Limea Brand brought to you by me and The Sensible Mama. Limea Brand is a brand that is all about equipping moms for all walks of their life, starting with babies and moving on to the post diaper bag stage. So everything that I make is designed to really equip you for every stage of life. And the two things that I'm launching currently are a pouch trio set called the Trifecta and an iPad portfolio. The first video was an in-depth look at the Trifecta, which is right here. So if you have missed that, if you haven't seen it yet, it is linked down in the description box below. But today we're gonna to talk all about the iPad portfolio. These are all up for pre-order on the website. We are expecting a February to March launch. And the reason why we're opening the pre-order is we wanted to do this all at once. We wanted to offer four colors in the Trifecta, which are pink, uh, which is called Boss Up, black, which is called On Point, Plum, which is called I'm Moody, and a brand new color called Iced Latte, which is a camel brown neutral. It is gorgeous with a powder blue lining on the inside. And we wanted to launch the iPad portfolio with it as well. And in order to do all that at once, doing a pre-order really, really helps us out. So that is up right now. It is going to be guaranteed to be open through the 18th, but since I'm a little late getting this video up, I think we're gonna extend that on through Black Friday. So if you are looking to avoid fastest fingers on launch day and you wanna go ahead and secure yours now, now, you can do that using the link down in the description box below. And with all that said, let's just jump right into it. This is the Limea brand iPad portfolio. It comes in two sizes. I currently only have the sample of the large because I gave the smaller one to my employee Tabitha who uses the smaller iPad Pro. So I'm only gonna be showing you the large one today. I'm gonna to show you all the features of it and the smaller version um, is identical. It's just made for an 11 inch or smaller tablet, whereas this one is made for a 12.9 inch or smaller tablet, but all of the other features are identical. This is going to be coming in two colors, Boss Up, which is this color right here, and On Point, which is a super soft, buttery black. So today we're gonna to get into the features of this product right here. When I got the iPad Pro recently, I sucked it up and I bought the Magic Keyboard as well, and I got the Apple Pencil because I decided if I'm going to invest in this and I'm gonna get rid of my um, desktop computer, I'm gonna limit my use of my MacBook Pro, which was really on its last legs anyway, I wanna make sure that this is a setup that's really gonna work for me. So I got all of those appliances for it, and once I got them all together, including the keyboard and the pencil, and the tablet, I realized this is just a lot and I have a lot of things that I wanna carry with this and I wish I had something to carry it all in. So I decided to design something that I thought would be the perfect thing for it. And that's what this is. This is called the Get to Work. Uh, we thought about calling it the Back to Work and then we decided, well, that's not very inclusive. So the Get to Work is something that every mom can relate to, whether you're stay at home, work from home, or working out of the home. We all have work to do and a lot of times it involves a computer of some sort. So that's what this is for and we're gonna dive into it today. So one of the first things I wanna show you is of course the brand new zipper pulls. They look like this with the Limea logo. There we go, get some focus on it. Pins, pencils, sticky notes, anything that you might be grabbing for quickly. An iPhone fits in there as well if you're wanting to keep that on the outside. I will say this is not a gusseted pocket, which means that you do start losing space in here the more you fill up the rest of the portfolio. So that's just something to know. This is really more of just to be a catch-all place for things that you might be grabbing for quickly right before you run into a meeting or run into the grocery store, whatever you might be doing where you wanna bring this along. It features dual zipper pulls that go all the way around, and the back side is just plain. So let's open her up and show you what is on the inside. I'm gonna show this to you empty first, and then I will pack it up for you. One thing of note though, is that a lot of times as you're going through the design phase, you go through multiple samples, and then once you get it really close, like pretty close to what the final design is going to be, you send the final changes to your design team and they don't make a new sample of it. Like when you reach that point where the changes are so small that those little changes are not going to impact the overall makeup and design of the product, you just move forward into production. And that's where we're at right now. So there's a few things in here that are not the final design, but I'm gonna walk you through those as well, okay? So here is the inside of the iPad portfolio. When you open it up, it opens this way so that your iPad is on the left. 
We kind of went back and forth about which side we wanted that to be on, but ultimately it seemed to make the most sense to have all of your accessories over here where you're quickly able to get to them. So here's one of the things that I'm gonna get into in a minute. We were experimenting with different pockets. We'll talk about that in just a second. Now, this entire thing, the outside and the inside, is made up of full grain leather. The choice for that was that we knew that this is a piece that is going to be moving a lot, and we just wanted to make sure that we weren't putting, like saving just pennies on this by putting a less high quality leather in here, which is sometimes the case when you look at an iPad portfolio. They'll put the nice leather on the outside and then put like a microfiber vegan leather on the inside. I was too worried about it peeling or cracking, so we just went with full leather all the way through, and I'm really, really happy with that decision. So on the one side, we have elastic straps for keeping your iPad. Again, this one is made for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but any tablet that has similar measurements will fit in here, and I'm gonna get into some other things that fit in here as well in just a minute. Now, this is just a protective piece. It's like a screen protector that folds over to cover up your iPad. Then on the opposite side, you can see here, I was experimenting with like a gusseted pocket, uh, but that really didn't turn out looking very good. It just looks unsightly and a little bit too bulky, and it didn't really add too much extra space for being able to store things. So instead, we're going to be going with a flat pocket like this one, so it will sit like this for putting in just little odds and ends that you wanna grab while you're in a meeting or while you're doing your planner for the week, whatever you may be doing. So there will be a zipper pocket here as well as a little slip pocket for other odds and ends you wanna place there. Here we have a snap closure with a spot for your iPhone. This is my iPhone 11 Pro and I've got a pretty significant case on there and a pop socket and it does fit. So far I have had everyone that I know try their iPhone in here. Uh, iPhones, Android phones, what have you, they have all fit. Even with an OtterBox, I've not found any phone to not fit in this pocket yet, which is something I'm really proud of. Then over here, this is one last thing that's going to be changing. Actually, there's two things. Um, we were finding that this little mesh pocket, although I really like the look of it, when you put things into it that had any kind of girth at all, it was lifting up this corner pocket, and I didn't love that. So this is going to be switching to two sets of elastic straps. So you can actually lift those up, slip your things into, and leave it there. So that's gonna be a place for your charging cables, the little charging block that comes with your iPad and things like that. And then lastly, uh, we're gonna be adding a pen loop right here for the Apple Pencil or for a pen that you might be carrying with you. And then we have a really nice, big, full slip pocket in the back. As you can see, I have my old iPad 10.2 in there as well. It is a really nice roomy pocket and I'm gonna show you some things that fit in there. So let's put this together, put everything in here that I would be carrying with me and we'll take a look. Okay, so here is the portfolio all packed up the way I have it packed for work today. This is that screen protector right here and over here I have got my iPad Pro. This is the 12.9 inch. Over on this side in the long zipper pocket, I just have a couple of quick grab items like some pens and a little notepad. Over here I have the charging cord for charging up my iPad. And then like I showed you earlier in the phone pocket, I have got my phone. Then over here in the side slip pocket, I have my iPad 10.2 inch, as well as the magic keyboard for my iPad Pro. I have had a couple questions about whether a MacBook would fit in here. It's a little too big, this one is a 13 inch. It's too big to go in the elastics right here because the elastics come in for the size of the iPad, uh, but you are able to put it right here if you want and it still zips up, or you can put it just in the center here, and as I'll show you, you can still get this zipped up with absolutely no problem. So even if you're a MacBook user, you can still use this for your computer, it's just not going to fit in the slip pocket or in the elastics. Some people have been curious about planners. This is the Erin Condren Duo Planner. Yes, it does fit in here and it fits in the smaller size, which is for 11 inch tablets. And it also fits over here, no problem, and zips up just fine over there, which I think is really cool. I've stopped doing paper planning, but I know so many people who like to carry around their iPad and their planner, and this is just a really great way to do that. I don't happen to have any spiral notebooks, but I do have this standard size manila folder. 
it fits just fine in here and will zip up as you can see there. And it will also fit in the slip pocket. So you might have to fold down the tabs a little bit, but that's really the only part that would be an issue for keeping this inside the portfolio as well. So whether you're using it for an iPad or more for planning or for school, I think this would just be a really versatile thing. That's why I designed it the way that I did. Oh, I forgot to show you over here in the back slip pocket, I've also got my charger and my mouse. So that did make it pretty bulky and a little bit heavy because I had a lot of tech in here. But when you need to carry everything all in one and you wanna just be able to fold it up and go, this is gonna be the perfect thing for that. So guys, if you have questions about the iPad portfolio, it's called the Back to Work. It comes in two sizes, the 12.9 inch and the 11 inch for the smaller iPads. If you have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. I will be making more videos with all of these things uh, and I can address any comments that you have in future videos. Love ya, mean it, always, Mwah! and I'll see you in the next one.